Hello everybody, it's Lisa and welcome to a new reading vlog. So this reading vlog is going to be very exciting. I had two books that I was really excited about coming out on the same day earlier this month in November and I was kind of going back and forth on whether I wanted to do a reading vlog for each of them individually or put it together or what I was going to do but I've decided to just do one reading vlog where I read my most anticipated books of the year and if you're wondering what those books are they are The Toll by Neil Shusterman and Supernova by Marissa Meyer. I'm going to be reading them in this vlog and giving my thoughts and feelings on them because I am so excited for these. These are like my most anticipated books of the year. I did a reading vlog that was kind of similar to this for Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco and I would say that was my other most anticipated release of the year. Like these two and Capturing the Devil were probably the books I was the most excited for this year so I really enjoyed doing that vlog so I wanted to do a vlog for these ones as well. I'm going to be reading these and giving my thoughts and feelings on them. Also I do want to say if you're worried about spoilers I am not going to have spoilers in this video. I think that the only possibility of there being spoilers in this video is at the very very end when I'm kind of giving my final thoughts on them. So there's going to be no spoilers throughout the majority of this vlog but if there are I will give a warning before I start talking about them but I will also put timestamps for spoilers for each of these books because you never know you might want to hear spoilers for one but not for the other so I will have timestamps listed down below in the description but I will also say if I'm about to start talking about spoilers um, but the majority of this reading vlog when I'm reading these books and reacting to them I'm not gonna have spoilers so do not worry but I have been waiting like two weeks to start getting into these so I think I'm just gonna start now and pick the first one up um, I've decided to start with The Toll because I feel like, I don't want to say I'm more stressed about this one, I just feel like the world and just where the characters ended up, I'm, I'm very stressed about what's going to happen in this. I also think that a lot of people are kind of confused about how they feel about this. I feel like there's getting a lot of mixed opinions. I just want to start with this to know what everyone's talking about, to know what happens. So. I'm going to be starting with the toll. I'm just going to get right into it because the sooner I start, the sooner I know, and then the sooner I can start Supernova. So yeah, that is what this vlog is. I'm so excited about it. I am so excited about these two books and I'm excited to kind of be able to vlog my experience with them and to also have like a discussion about both of these with you guys. But I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to start because it's killing me that these have been out for like two weeks and I haven't started one yet. So I'm going to go and start reading the toll. <laughs> I'm a ball of fluff. So it is now the next day from when I started this vlog. It's now the 19th, it's Tuesday, and I just wanted to kind of give an update. I think I'm coming down with a cold, so if I don't seem very energetic, that's probably why. But I did want to give a little update on where I'm at with the toll. So I'm on page 152, uh, chapter 14. So I am decently far, um, enough to know that I'm enjoying it so far. One thing that Neil Schusterman has done with this series, I don't know if he does it in other books, but in this series he kind of has um, a lot of different perspectives and um, with those different perspectives they all kind of come together in the end and it's really interesting but at the same time a part of me is like I just want to get to the perspectives that I care about because naturally with different perspectives there's going to be ones that you care about more than others so I kind of want to just get to certain characters' point of views, but I am enjoying it so far. Um, nothing like too crazy has happened yet. Um, there was one thing that kind of shocked me and I actually took a picture of me kind of reacting to it, so there's that. But um, I'm kind of a little confused also, like I'm kind of confused on the timeline, like when these certain events are taking place because I just, I'm a little confused, so I think I need to keep reading and maybe I'll figure that out. Part of the problem is one of the things that made me confused was the perspective that 
we've had like once and we haven't gone back to it yet so but I don't know I don't really know what's going on but I'm just gonna keep going but I am enjoying it so far and I think today because I'm just not feeling great I'm just gonna stay in bed and read I do need to edit some of my vlog as well I do have you guys like resting on the laptop <laughs> so I put that there to maybe convince me to do some editing because I need to finish editing my Stranger Things readathon vlog so I might do that but for the most part, I plan on reading today, maybe watching like a movie or something. I don't know. It's just going to be a really chill day because I don't feel great. But yeah, that's kind of my update for now. I just kind of wanted to say where I was at with the toll so far and my first initial thoughts. That's really it. That's all I had to say. So I'm going to maybe do some editing and then go into some reading. Okay, so your girl's back in bed. So it's now Thursday, November 21st. I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I really did not feel well and I probably still sound really like sick because I still don't feel that great today but I feel better so that's why I'm vlogging. But yesterday it was like the kind of sick where I just felt like like there was no energy so holding up a book that's this big took a lot of energy so I didn't do that much reading yesterday but I have read a decent amount since I've last talked to you guys um, so I'm now up to part three which is page 273 I believe so I'm thinking things are going to start picking up just from what the title of part three is I feel like things are gonna start picking up and I did say earlier in this vlog that I was liking it so far and the thing is is like I'm liking it but I'm not like obsessed with it yet like I feel like there hasn't been anything that's made me like freak out um there's been like a couple of things like a couple of reveals and a couple of like just like the last sentence of a paragraph like that's something that Neil Schusterman does is he will like end a chapter on a cliffhanger with like one sentence and you're just like what does that mean so there's been a couple of those but there hasn't been anything that's made me like need to put this book down and like back away um which happened with Scythe and Thunderhead so I don't know I'm I'm liking it but it's definitely like out of the other two in the series this is my least favorite so far which is kind of a bummer um but I still have like so much left I still have like um over half left so I heard that the ending too was a lot so I'm still thinking that this could improve and my experience with it could improve a lot but as of right now it's definitely like not my favorite compared to the other two another thing neil schusterman does is has a lot of perspectives and the thing is is that they always come into play and they're always important even if there's a perspective that doesn't seem like it's important and it's like a new character and we've never met them before they always come back into play and they always come up later on like some of them have come up already but like there's always some connection later on and it makes the ending and the reveals so much more dramatic but at the same time I feel like we aren't getting the perspectives from the characters that I actually want to see like we've gotten them a couple of times but we haven't gotten them like as much as I would have liked to but I'm thinking again because of the name in part three we might be getting more of the perspectives that I want to see I'm definitely excited to keep going um, I definitely just kind of want to read a lot today because yesterday it's like I wanted to read I just didn't have the energy to but now that I'm feeling a bit better I want to do some reading I would like to finish this by tomorrow I don't know if that's gonna happen because I do want to get to supernova soon and I want to get this video up before November ends and it's the 21st already so we'll see let me know down below if you've read this if it took like a little while into the book to kind of pick up because I feel like even though I'm almost 200 pages in I'm almost 300 pages in nothing like I mean things have happened and the plot has definitely like moved forward I just feel like nothing like insane has happened yet I don't know let me know what you thought about the beginning of this book down below because I feel like I'm very confused okay I'm gonna stop talking now I'm gonna put an ASMR room on my TV or something and do some more reading um, and yeah hopefully I will update you guys soon
Okay, so I just got to part four in the toll. Um, so I have like a little under 300 pages left. And it's only three o'clock. And as I'm sick and have no motivation to do anything else, I think I might try and finish this today. That may not happen because I may just end up taking a nap. <laughs> but I'm going to try my best to get as far as possible um, because I feel like at this point in the book, it's all starting to pick up. We're all in like the perspectives of the characters that I care about or the storylines that I care about. So it's a lot more interesting now. So I'm very intrigued to see what keeps happening. It just it keeps getting more and more intense so i really want to keep going and just see how far i can get today ideally i would love to finish i think i have like 270 something pages left so i feel like that's doable but we're just gonna see what happens because your girl's sick so like i said may take some naps but yeah i think actually i'm gonna have a little snack because i am feeling a bit hungry so I think I'm going to have something to eat and continue reading. I'll check in with you guys soon, hopefully, and let's see how far I can get in this book. <laughs> okay, so it has been a couple of days, I think, since I last updated the vlog, but good news, I finished the toll two days ago, and I gave it a 4.5 stars. So I do think that I'm going to have like a wrap-up of my feelings of both the toll and Supernova at the end of the vlog, like I said earlier. It was definitely good and I definitely cried. I have a couple of pictures of when I finished it so I will put those on the screen for your enjoyment and expose myself but that's fine. So I definitely enjoyed it but I still think that I prefer Thunderhead to this one. It definitely wasn't my favorite in the series but I do think that the way everything concluded was very satisfying. I'm, I'm happy with how everything ended so I am pleased about that but I'll kind of give more of my thoughts at the end of this video. But now we're moving on to Supernova and I'm terrified but I'm so excited. I haven't started it yet. I just have my bookmark in there. Also I'm going to try my best to get this Target sticker off. Normally the Target stickers are sort of easier to get off but I'm going to try my best to get that off. I'm very excited to get into this. I have very high hopes um, and I'm very excited to start reading it. Okay. I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to do some reading because I just need to start this right now. <laughs> just a quick update. I got the sticker off. No issues. We love Target for having stickers that just come off easily because Barnes & Noble doesn't do that. Which is why that sticker is still on. I'm too scared to take that off. At least the sticker that was on Supernova came off. So, got that going for me. Okay, I'm going to go read now. <laughs> everybody so it is now a couple days later since you last saw me i started supernova i think on saturday and it is now monday so i'm not that far into supernova i am on page 43 and that's the beginning of chapter five um so i'm not super far but there's already tea this book just completely like jumped right back into where we were in arch enemies like we just pick up right where we left off and that's stressful and it's already like overwhelming there's already things happening there's already tea so i'm very interested to keep going uh, but i didn't read a lot yesterday because i wasn't feeling well and then i was doing laundry and then i went to the jonas brothers concert a lot of things were happening yesterday but um i plan on doing some reading today um i am going to get dinner with some friends later on but i think i am going to film like a journal video and then just read until I have to go and meet my friends for dinner so that's the plan so yeah I'm going to go and do my journal video and then do some reading of supernova because I need to know where this is gonna go okay so I just got up to chapter 11 page 105 I don't have words I'm freaking out I just want to keep reading but I'm being social tonight I'm going out to dinner with some friends so but if you've read this and you read the end of chapter 10, 
I'm not saying anything. I don't know. I'm stressed. I thought I would update, but like words aren't coming out because I'm so stressed. I'm gonna go. Um, hopefully I will check in with you guys soon. <laughs> I am looking great right now. All right, everybody, we have reached the end of this vlog. I finished Supernova last night, and I kind of wanted to just kind of wrap up my thoughts on both of these books um, because my thoughts on the toll have changed a little bit since I first started. And I finished Supernova last night, and I haven't been able to kind of give my overall thoughts yet. So I just kind of wanted to talk about them a little bit. I also think I might get into spoilery territory. But I'm going to talk about how I felt about each book without spoilers first and then get into spoilers for each book later on. So I will have timestamps in the description when I talk about spoilers for The Toll and when I talk about spoilers for Supernova, but I will also give a warning before I start talking about them. So there will be plenty of ways for you to avoid spoilers. But I'm going to just talk about how I felt about them non-spoilery, no spoilers. Um, I just want to kind of give my overall thoughts first. So if you see me looking down, I took a couple of notes on my phone um, just because there was so much there was so much going on inside of this brain. <laughs> there were a lot of thoughts that I had on both of these books and I wanted to make sure that I remembered everything I wanted to say. So I'm going to start with my spoiler-free thoughts on the toll first. So I originally gave this a 4.5 stars, but after some thinking and having a little bit of time to kind of digest the story, I lowered it to a 4 star. And even that, I'm like, I'm not really sure about my rating. I feel like it's probably a four star, um, maybe like a higher three star, but I'm going to leave it at four. I'm pretty satisfied with the ending of this book. I'm satisfied with where the characters kind of ended up, or at least the characters that I like really cared about. I'm like pretty satisfied with where they ended up. And I'm satisfied with how everything in this world kind of concluded and came together. I think that this world is super, super fascinating. And even though this book probably is my least favorite in the trilogy, I still gave it four stars and I still think that this world is insane. I cannot imagine being Neil Schusterman, <laughs> like his mind, Neil Schusterman's mind. It's just like, I don't understand how he came up with all of this. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's so mind blowing that even though this wasn't my favorite, it still was like, I still can't believe everything that happened. But basically I think for me with Thunderhead, um, being the book that came out right before this one, this, this is the third Thunderhead was the second. Um, it just felt very like the best way I can kind of describe it is it felt like a watered down version of the other two books in the series. There were moments inside in Thunderhead that 
shocked me and made me feel emotional and made me like gasp and I was so like it just there were a lot of things that made me like freak out with those other two books especially Thunderhead I think Thunderhead is still my favorite in the series but with this one I felt like there were a couple of moments that made me kind of be like oh my god and like gasp and um I did cry as you saw I did show I think a picture of me crying reading this book so it did make me feel things but I just don't feel like I felt as intensely as I did with the other books in the series. Like, I feel like there were moments where I should have been more surprised. I should have been freaking out. I should have been shocked, but I wasn't. But I still think that it was an interesting conclusion, and I'm still satisfied with how it ended, but at the same time, like, I'm kind of disappointed with it. I don't know. Like, I, I'm very conflicted on how I feel because it was good, but it wasn't as good as I was hoping or as good as Thunderhead. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a four stars with it right now, but... I don't know if that'll change but yeah that's kind of like my overall thoughts non-spoilery for the toll but let's get into supernova so i finished this last night and i think one of the biggest differences i think between these two is that i have so much more like notes for this book whether they're spoilery or non-spoilery and i think that just and I think that that just shows how much more I enjoyed this than the toll and I wasn't making this video to compare the two um I was like equally excited for both of these they were my most anticipated releases of the year pretty much so I was excited and hoping to love both of these as you can guess I gave this five stars I was losing my mind last night um I basically read so I don't know if you can see but there is a pink post-it right here and that's like what I read over the span of two days and then the rest of the book is what I read yesterday. I read like over 400 pages of this book yesterday. So the, the feelings, the emotions, the shock, the surprises, everything that I felt during this book is kind of what I thought I would feel with, with the toll as well. But this one I was so invested and so many moments that I was surprised and freaking out and emotional. I was crying like so many times. Um, I actually, again, took pictures of me crying. I don't know why I didn't like vlog me crying, but I think it was just because I couldn't like take the time to pick up the camera. I just wanted to keep reading. So I did take some pictures of me crying and I don't know. It was like, it just was so good. There were so many moments throughout this book, like five or six times I had to put my bookmark in the book and close it and just like put it down and like digest what was happening and like prepare myself for what was going to continue to happen. I had to do that like five or six times and it sounds so ridiculous because it's like, it's a book. Like calm down. I was getting so overwhelmed and so stressed out and so emotional that I was like, I needed to put the book down and like just kind of like, okay, mentally preparing for what's about to happen, kind of digesting what just happened and I need to continue. And I think that just kind of shows how like overwhelming this was in a good way. I say overwhelming in a good way. Like there was a lot going on and I was stressed and I was freaking out and I was emotional and I was happy. There was a lot of emotions. Every emotion I felt reading this book. I also was kind of surprised with this book. I don't know. There were certain reveals and certain like moments throughout the book that I did not see coming. It definitely was different from what I was expecting. Not that I went into it with a lot of expectations or a lot of theories. I knew that there would be like a couple of reveals that we've been waiting for the whole series to happen in this book, but I don't know. I just, the way it went about the reveals and just everything was so unexpected, but also so good. The reveals and just the, the battle scenes in this, there were just so many good things, but also very emotional things. Um, there was a point in the book where um, not like the end end, but like towards the end where so much was going on and thing after thing just kept happening. And that was part of the times when I had to put the book down and just like breathe. It happened a couple of times when I was reading that part. But um, one of the pictures of me sobbing reading this book was just after so many different things had happened and like my emotions were building up. And then like one thing that like in the span of like everything that happened probably shouldn't have caused that reaction but it made me sob and I'm gonna talk about what it was in the spoiler section so if you want to know stick around but yeah it just I was like so emotional and so overwhelmed and then it was just like I just fully like sobbed and ugly cried and let it all out and then I was crying throughout the whole end it was an emotional read I'm also a baby so like maybe you won't cry this much reading this book but like I'm a baby and I love this series so I was emotional. It definitely was an amazing conclusion in my opinion. I'm happy with how everything came together um, even if it didn't come together necessarily how I thought. Some things 
I predicted some things I didn't, but I just thought it was really well done. I gave it five stars. And even though I just reread Renegades and Arch Enemies like a couple of months ago in preparation for this, I already want to reread them. Like there's so much that I feel like I need to go back and reread knowing what I know now, especially that epilogue. Just saying. Also, I would love to get a short story collection based off of this world. I feel like where this ended, but also just so many of the reveals and so many things that happened, I feel like could be expanded upon in short stories. Maybe, I mean, there's something that I think could be a whole series, but I'm not going to get greedy. I think a short story collection based off of this world and stories from this world um, would be great. And I will talk about more of what I think she could write short stories on in the spoiler section. But yeah, I just, I want more from it. But at the same time, I'm really satisfied with how it ended. So this was great. I'm emotional. So yeah, I finished The Toll and Supernova, my most anticipated books of the year. They're done. They're finished. I've consumed them. They're in my brain. But now I'm going to get into the spoiler section. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, if you are somebody who doesn't want to be spoiled for either Supernova or The Toll, if you don't want to be spoiled for either, I would click off now. Um, thank you for watching this vlog and I will see you in the next one. But if you are somebody who wants to hear spoilers for The Toll or Supernova or both, I would stick around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have just in the description below, I'll put it at the very, very top of the, my description. Um, I will have timestamps of when I'm talking about spoilers for The Toll. I will put the timestamp of when it starts and when it ends and the timestamp of when I start talking about spoilers for Supernova and when it ends. So if you maybe want to hear my spoilery thoughts for Supernova, you can just skip to those and not hear the ones for the toll or vice versa. But I also will hold up each book while I'm talking about the spoilers for each of them. So when you see me put down the toll and hold up Supernova, you'll know that I'm done talking about the toll and I'm starting Supernova. Hopefully this all makes sense. I feel like I'm kind of over explaining it, but I also don't want to spoil anybody. I think what I'm going to do is start with spoilers for the toll. So if you do not want to be spoiled for the toll, click off now or click until I start talking about Supernova, but I'm going to start talking about spoilers for both books now. I, like I said, am pretty satisfied with the ending. I'm happy with where the characters kind of ended up. I'm happy with where Grayson, where Scythe Faraday, and where Citra and Rowan kind of ended up. I mean, they're alive. So that's what I really wanted. Grayson and the Thunderhead kind of having that moment where Grayson wasn't going to be able to communicate with the Thunderhead, um, I thought was great. I think Grayson and Jerry kind of ending up together, I thought was really interesting. I thought that the failsafe was really interesting and how that was kind of, I feel like, the best solution from where this world could end up. Because there was a point when I was reading this book that I was like, I don't see how this could have a somewhat happy ending or like an ending where it just, I don't know, like I couldn't see a happier ending. Um, but I think the failsafe with disease kind of coming back every 20 years. And then I think like every one person out of 20 people will get the disease every 20 years. I think that's what it was. I thought was really interesting and also like a kind of a good way to deal with what was going on in this world and how to deal with death, I guess. But I think it's cool that Cy Faraday and other sides are kind of being able to take care of the people who get sick and are able to kind of help them pass at their own rate and like in a pain painless way, I don't know, and, and help the families. I think that that was just such a interesting way of kind of completely doing a 180 with the size. I don't know. I think that that was really interesting. I also thought when people were saying that the ending of this book was open-ended that we weren't going to see what ended up like what ended up happening with characters. Um, seeing that Citra and Rowan ended up going in one of those like ship things to go off to a separate planet. When I heard that people thought it was open-ended, I thought we weren't going to be able to see if they ever made it or not. The last chapter, the last two pages of this book, we find out that they make it and that Citra is alive and that's where like those pictures of me sobbing came from because I was crying reading that last page of the book and like the last line of the book it was just so emotional. Citra and Rowan were finally together and I just I don't know it's like I wasn't even like the biggest fan of their relationship but at the same time I still wanted them to be together. I wanted I was rooting for them even though I wasn't like completely invested in their relationship I still wanted them to be together and they finally were able to be together and to be alive and to thrive. So that was great. But basically when I said that I felt like it was watered down, I feel like there were certain moments that I was supposed to be stressed out where I wasn't. So like when the Tonis were attacking Citra, 
um, at that place with Jerry and the other size. I can't remember what it was called or what the size names were. But when the Tonus were attacking that place, I wasn't even that stressed out. Like, I probably should have been more stressed out than I was. I just knew that it was going to be fine, or that Citra, at least, was going to be fine. Like, I really, like, did was not worried for her. When that all that was going on, I was, like, not concerned at all. And I feel like I should have been. Also, when Grayson was um, about to be killed by Scythe Morrison, I don't know why I remember his name, but I do. But when he was about to be killed by him, and he ended up stabbing him in the eye, which was really gross and like freaks me out because I have like this weird thing with eyes. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I should be more concerned than I am. I don't know. I just felt like that was one of those situations where I should have been freaking out, but I wasn't. I also do want to say, I just thought of this now. It's not in my notes, but I do want to say that I wish we saw more of Citra and Rowan. In the beginning of this, I feel like we only really started to get into their perspective like halfway through this book. And they're like the main characters. I think that we still got their perspective and I'm happy that we got more of it in the second half of the book but in the first half of the book I was kind of disappointed that we weren't getting as much of their perspective as I would have wanted. Like I understand why we didn't but at the same time I still wish we saw more of them at the beginning. We did see them eventually so I guess it all worked out but I just wish that we had seen them more towards the beginning. Even though this definitely wasn't my favorite in the series and it was a little disappointing I still enjoyed it and I still like love this world. I think it's so interesting. Um, well, I don't love the world. I love it, but I also hate it because it makes you think and it's so stressful, but it's such a creative and just like overwhelming thing. Like, I don't know. He's just incredible. Um, but yeah, those are kind of my spoilery thoughts on the toll. I'd love to talk about it um, down below. Obviously, I don't want to like say spoilers but if you've read this I'd love to know your thoughts on it because I feel like a lot of people have been sort of disappointed with this I mean even though I did give it four stars which is still a good rating I think that I am slightly disappointed in it just because it wasn't as good as the other two books in the series in my opinion so if you've read it let me know okay so now we're getting into spoilers for Supernova so if you are here to hear them hello welcome if you are wanting to avoid spoilers you should probably get out leave right now in the wise words of Jojo okay First of all, that epilogue, holy crap, I didn't even suspect it. <laughs> this was me being like so stupid because um, when Nova goes to get her bracelet back from Magpie and she had the bullet and like Magpie was like super, super um, like defensive about it. I was like, I bet that's when a lot of people started going, hmm, suspicious. That's when I went, oh, that's kind of weird. And then just kept going. Like, I didn't even, I didn't even realize. I didn't even think about it. But I have so many questions about that epilogue and the fact that Magpie is Evie. Oh, where was she this whole time? Like, obviously she was with the Renegades, but like, how did she get to that point? Like, I just have so many questions as to where Evie, like, I don't know how Evie got to where she was. I don't know. I just have so many questions about how she ended up where she ended up and I have so many questions about where this is gonna go. Obviously this is the final book and that was the epilogue and I think that Marissa Meyer was trying to say that there's always going to be you know two sides you know there's not designated like you're good and you're bad sort of thing but there's always gonna be people to you know have disagreements and people I just I don't, I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. One thing I did want to talk about though let's see if I can find that part. Oh, she spotted a man tucked into the crowd, a worn trench coat draped over his bulky figure. He was staring at her like he recognized her, though she knew she'd never seen him before. One doesn't forget a face like that, a patchwork of blotchy skin with one cheek that drooped lower than the other, dragging down the left side of his mouth, missing eyebrows and raised scars crisscrossing his brow. And then he smiled at her, a knowing lopsided grin. Is that supposed to be Leroy? Am I being dumb? Is that Leroy? Like, I, if it's Leroy, does he know that that's Evie? Or is it... I, I have a lot of questions. Because I don't think it would be Ace. Like, Ace is definitely dead. But Leroy is alive. And I feel like there's a possibility that Leroy would know that that's Evie. But, like, what does that mean? Like, if he knows, is he going to address her? Is he going to talk to her? Is he going to try and help her um, figure out that Nova is her sister? Like, I feel like he would know that they're connected. Um, but at the same time, like, maybe he knows that she is upset with where the world is and maybe, like, that she's talking about being a villain, that maybe he's going to try and get her to kind of make the villains come back. I don't know. I was watching Emma Book's video, her vlog on this, but she was saying that Leroy kind of had, a, like, a weird change in character, how he was an anarchist and then was trying to help the Renegades and help Nova and take down Ace. And it was just kind of a weird, abrupt 
change of character. And at first I was like, well, I don't know. I didn't think it was like that strange. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, but if he knows that that's Evie, maybe there's something brewing or maybe I'm just overanalyzing. I don't know. I just, I'm so curious about all of that. Like it just, there's so many questions that I have. Everything with Nova and her family and Adrian and his mom and all of that was a lot. I kind of had this inkling even like back when I read Renegades for the first time that East Anarchy was the reason Nova's family was killed. I kind of thought that that was going to be revealed and that was going to be happening like way back when. Like I genuinely thought that he was the reason it happened because like why else would he have been at the house like right after it happened like how would he have known i don't know i was suspicious of him from the very start plus he's like the villain like hello so i that part didn't surprise me but for some reason the part where adrian's mom who was a superhero who i forget her name i want to say lady indomitable but i don't think that's correct oh maybe it is lady indomitable Indom you know adrian's mom the superhero but adrian's mom was killed by phobia while she was um, on, you know, patrol and protecting Nova's family. I don't know why I never thought to put those two things together. I really had Nova's past and Adrian's mom and that whole thing very separate in my mind. So for some reason, I never thought to put those two and two together, but it, it is, that's what happened. I kind of, um, expected there to be some reveal where the renegades were actually trying to help Nova and her family, but it just didn't work out. And that kind of, makes sense um that lady indomitable was there to protect them uh, but was killed by phobia the day that her family was killed it just it's <laughs> oh my god but also phobia being the reason adrian's mom died because adrian created phobia that still has my mind a little confused like i'm still trying to wrap my head around it like i understand but it's just like, it was one of those things, like, as I was reading it, I was like, what is going on right now? Literally, I have a, a bullet point in my notes after I wrote that phobia was created by Adrian. Um, it makes sense. I'm just dumb. Because it does. It makes sense. I'm just dumb and didn't think about it. I literally was looking at the supernova tag on Tumblr last night after I finished it. And there was a meme that I'll put up on the screen that made me laugh. It just... It was really funny. The reveals in this book were just like things that I was like, I feel like I should have been able to piece this together, but I didn't. Or like I started to, but I didn't fully make the connections, which I think honestly makes a lot of sense that, you know, as an author, you would want them to kind of make it, make the reveal shocking, but make them make sense. To me, it made sense, even though they surprised me. Because I think sometimes when reveals and like big surprise endings are revealed but they don't make sense it's like okay like you literally just did that for shock value you might like you don't see it throughout the book you don't see it throughout the series and it kind of is just kind of out of nowhere to shock you but I feel like it all makes sense it all connects but it still shocked me because I could only piece together like half of it but like I was saying I want short stories about this world because I feel like she could do like so many different ones but I feel like the main ones that I want are I want one about Evie like prior to Nova and Adrian and like everything that happened in this series but I also would like one like after um the epilogue because the epilogue makes me so intrigued to know what's gonna happen next I mean I feel like Marissa Meyer could do like a whole spin-off series a spin-off trilogy a duology even just a standalone like a spin-off of Evie and after the epilogue but I will settle for a short story I just feel like there's so much more that we could learn about Evie and Magpie and whether that was before Adrian and Nova in their story and or after, um, after the epilogue. So I definitely would like to see more of that. Um, I also would like to see a short story about Adrian creating phobia and, um, the night that his mom died and Nova's family was killed from the perspective of somebody who knew that that was happening. I think it would just be so interesting to see those events from somebody's perspective that knew the truth even back then. I also would like to see a short story about how the renegades and like the prodigies and everything kind of came together after the events of this book because I feel like one thing that was missing from this book was the politics within the renegades after this because they made some mistakes. Agent N was a mistake everything they did regarding that was bad i kind of would just like to see the politics that nova was challenging be challenged and see if they changed anything because i feel like we didn't really see those changes i mean obviously the parade was different and i think that that was supposed to indicate that 
there were changes, but I don't know. I just wish that we had seen more of the changes within the politics, within the renegades and the prodigies. So we could get a whole short story on that. We also could get a short story on Dana and Narcissa because there was something between those two. And y'all can't tell me I'm wrong. I also would love a short story about Ruby and Oscar just going on a date and having a great time because that was what made me start sobbing. The whole battle with Ace Anarchy when they got his helmet back to him and the whole bee um, and everything with the bees having uh, Agent N on their stingers and that whole scene, Callum, Callum, oh, rest in peace. That whole thing was so overwhelming. I had to put the book down so many times during those chapters. And then at the end of all that, Oscar finally tells Ruby how he feels and that's what caused me to start sobbing. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I think I was just like everything from that battle like was building up inside of me and my emotions and then that one thing just like pushed me over the edge and made me ugly cry. I just don't know why that was the moment that made me ugly cry. Also Max, Max is like normal now and he's like one of the only people on the planet that's normal. Um, everybody, because everybody's a prodigy now, so he's like the only person that's normal. But honestly, like it makes me so happy because I feel like he is able to now have a family and be with people that he cares about, which is, I think, more what he wanted than being a renegade. Um, so that makes me happy. I feel like those are a lot of my thoughts. Half this vlog is going to be me talking about spoilers for Supernova, so that's fine. Okay, so spoilers are over. Um, now that I've wrapped up my spoilery thoughts, this vlog is coming to an end. I don't know if anybody's even watching this because people might skip over spoilers, but if you're still here, Thank you for watching. Let me know down below if you have read any of these. Um, let me know some of your thoughts on Supernova and the Toll. Obviously, don't do any spoilers. I was so, like, cautious of making sure people were aware of when I was going to be talking about spoilers, so I would hate for them to just scroll down to the comments and see a spoiler. Any non-spoilery thoughts you have on these books, I'd love to talk about them in the comments below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.